Okay, show me how. I will show you how to hang a door in a block opening that never had one. <coughs> okay, so this is what I had in this garage. They never put a door up or windows for that matter. I'll show you how to do that as well. Um, so I have a pre-hung 3080. Now remember, 30 is not 30, it's 36. That's three foot zero inches, 3080. Eight foot zero inches. 80 is not like a six foot eight door, which is 80 inches. So people get a little confused, I don't know why, but I understand. So I have a 3080. Now remember, you're always going to add an inch and a half, really an inch and five eighths width or height. So 96 becomes 97 and five eighths. 36 becomes 37 and five eighths. Okay. So what I have here is a coupe ball size. I have 40 inches, which is kind of a bummer because 37 and five eighths, it'd be nice if I had three inches which would be 40 and 5 eighths because then I could put a half inch piece of lumber on both sides. The top is a whole other ball game, utter bummer, all right? And here's why. I have 87 and 5 eighths. Okay, I'm gonna sort of head over here. About 87 and 5 eighths. The ground is solid as a rock in Arizona. Uh, never shifts unlike uh, say California or somewhere else China um, So what I'm gonna do is take this off. I started taking it off and I thought well may as well shoot a video for you folks So this was just fastened up The way you see it with a lot more screws in here. Okay, the rats were nesting um, And I had been wanting to do this for a while so let me just kind of show you the opening here. I should have got my bigger screw gun, but I didn't. Uh, here you go. So they plied it, and then they furred it with these one bys. Sorry, two by sixes. And uh, and then they fastened it into the side jam. Which I didn't realize they had on here a jam, but well, they actually only put some on one side. It's not going to have the room unless you plane down the wood to fit that pre hung door. And I'll explain that to you. So, what I'm going to do is take this out and I'll show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like, like on the other side, folks. So I guess at one time it had a door. Uh, it's probably hollow core and it was just getting eaten up, <coughs> to say the least. So I'll clean all that out and we'll just have an opening and then we'll figure out how to box it in from there. All right, here's what it looks like. So it looks like they tried to fasten with some of these older styled nails that those are lentils these are lentils okay they're made out of metal to hold their act as a header on a block wall you have to have these lentils in and they're supposed to protrude so far over into the uh full uh full course block okay hopefully that's cantilevering over enough i'm not sure what it is if it's four inches two inches or what <clears throat> but that's what those are so you can see i'll clean it up more i just wanted to see that they probably were holding this mostly with the typical uh quart and a half a couple gallons of caulking but i'll be honest with you i've seen paint hold up a kitchen cabinet after i removed all the fasteners during demo yeah paint blew me away i remember one time dirt preventing water from coming out of the of a water line. I couldn't believe that. That was unbelievable. Anyways, uh, this is what it looks like. 
and uh, let me go through the measurements again. <clears throat> now remember, I have that pre-hung door I bought for dirt cheap. I actually have a nice door here, a 3080. Can't really cut it down though because of the details. So I'm gonna leave that one out of the mix. I sure like this view, huh? So I may just, if I can find a window, and I got the door for 50 bucks at Habitat. They're about 500 new, a pre-hung. Inch and three quarter solid core exterior. So I jumped all over it. So I'll be cutting the top off of the door in the jam and I'll show you that, but here we go. So I've got, wow, 39 and five eighths. And here I've got 40. So that's wonderful, okay. And then, um, you know, 40, 40 and a quarter. 39 and 5 eighths. All right, so I got to work with the 39 and 5 eighths. Remember, I got 37 and 5 eighths is what I need to clear for this jam. Preferably 38 ish. So, you know, maybe two pieces of three quarter. I may do that. So I'm going to think about it. Now, I could do, let's take the depth. Okay. 8 inch. It's net like 7 and 7 eighths, or 7 and 3 quarter, but 8 inch block. <coughs> the jam, I believe, is like 5 and a half. So, what I thought about doing was putting it in the middle or flush on the inside. Then you can case it out. So, the jam flush on the inside as opposed to putting it in the center. But then on the outside, you could trim it with something cementuous. That way, you never have to maintain it. And that, I think, is probably what I'm going to do. A couple ways to skin it there. You could flush it on the outside. I don't know why you do that. Okay. And um, so I think, yeah, I think I'm going to flush it on the inside. I'll use three quarter, three quarters, inch and a half, inch and a half. From 39 and 5 eighths, inch and a half from 39, 5 gives me 38. And let's take a look at the door. By the way, these just kind of whack out, okay? There you go. Not that difficult. Okay, obviously, scrape your. Sorry about that there, folks. Obviously, you scrape out all your caulking. Okay, let's go look at the door. Okay, here's the door. Let's see? Habitat and get some good deals, folks, if you know what you're doing. And if you don't know what you're doing, just watch my channel. I'm all about value. So this door, 500 new, which is stupid. Now, this is during the uh, 2023 and 2020, 2019. This thing was two and a half at best. Okay, so see if I can measure this. You can see that thickness there. Okay, and that's on this side. So let's get the depth. The depth's five and a half. And let's get the height. Five and a half. Okay. 97 and 5 eighths. Okay, so there's that extra inch and a half I was telling you about. It. And then let's get the width. See that? 37 and a half, 5 eighths. Those are the important measurements. Okay, and uh. There you have it. So it's pre-hung, you got your seals. So what I'll be doing is cutting off of this side. And I'm sorry if this camera spins around. I know in one of my other videos it was horrible. I'm going 88 and a half, 87 and a half. So right there is where I'll whack the jam and I'll put that head back on it after I do a little bit of a rabbit. Okay, so there you have it, folks. That's the door. 
Okay, folks. So I've ripped, I've ripped down these, these fillers here at one inch. Okay. And that'll give me two things, something to fasten on to. Yeah, this is nice. So I've got 37 and 5 eighths, three quarter here, but it's going to be a little bit more because I haven't tied it down. <coughs> I just put this shim block up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it, or I should say fasten it with power grab. There's so many variations of this stuff. It's amazing. This stuff's like soda pop now. There used to be four different, four or five different kinds. It all started with, I think, uh, Oh, what was the floor adhesive for subfloor? Like panel adhesive is how it all started way back when. And now, you know, Loctite, Power Grab. Uh, sheesh, where are some of the other ones? I can't even recall. There's Iron something. And anyways, it's all the same garbage for the most part. Except for ceiling construction, like on the outside. Man, Sikaflex is bullet. Anyways, so I'm gonna use Power Grab kind of like an instant grab. I'm gonna shim this up and then I'm gonna cut the door. I'll show you that and then we'll pop it in and I'll have a door, awesome. Okay, just to let you know, I cut these about half inch longer <clears throat> and I'm just shimming this up and then when I fasten these, because I'll use tap it's, it's gonna be a little bit easier that they're locked in and then I use that adhesive that I showed you. So that's it. Let me get a, a measurement here and see exactly where it'll be. I got five eighths in there, which is what I need. And then it'll grow obviously um, to about 38 inches. 38, 38 and a quarter at the bottom, 37 and five eighths at the top, which is what I need minimum. So it'll be nice and snug up here, but that'll give me a little room to rack if I have to re-rack re it because the pre-hungs are never, you know, hung very good. So, okay, all right, we'll get it hung. Let this dry a couple minutes. Here's a better view of that door I'll be whacking off. This hinge may go down the road because you really don't need four hinges on a seven foot door so i may just try to drop it down a hair but again this was too good of a deal on a door for 50 bucks it was going to fit into that opening so again the door all right so here i'm going to try to explain what i'm doing on the cut i need 87 and a half folks i took the door out and i pulled the seals back these seals go right back in so when you cut them they fit right back into the channel that was a brilliant thing on these pre-hung the type of seal they use so what i'm going to do is use my cordless <coughs> <coughs> best cordless tools remember makita because they invented them and everybody keeps chasing them but i again give a lot of credit to Milwaukee because they put a lot of pressure on Makita and they me again as I stated before they may have the edge <coughs> so what I'm going to do is make a straight cut and then I'm going to try to put this rabbit on using a all cut tool so let me see what I can do here, folks, without fouling this up. Okay, I pulled that off. And I'm right in the hand, so that hand that I was telling you about will have to go away. I'm going to have to do this left-handed. That's a bummer. Because it's split. It 
took the entirety of this part of the jam off. So that's no good, but what I'll do is I'll cut it and, and uh, have to glue it. Not the end of the world. Won't be seen, but you know, you hate to, you hate to do stuff like that, folks, but I'll glue it, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do, this is the hard part, is you see this little rabbit here? Sorry, this rabbit. What I'm gonna do is disassemble this, and then I'm gonna put this cut, this little L cut, which is not on this part, okay? I'm gonna put that right here. Okay, and I'll show you that. All right, so one good thing that came out of this, folks, was all the nails came out of the cut piece, which is great staples. <coughs> so it didn't, I didn't mutilate this piece too much at all, okay? And remember, this piece doesn't have to be cut because it's resting on top of the two legs, this being the head. So all you have to do is measure this. Whenever you're cutting any kind of a jam that's a pre-hung that has this rabbit to hold the head, and that's inch and a quarter. And it's only on the stop. This is a stop that's built in on these exterior jams. So you only have to cut an inch and a quarter the depth of the stop on both sides. So I'll measure inch and a quarter. Take my little speed square. All right. The depth is, I want to burn a little bit half inch so you're gonna want to uh, cut through half inch deep and actually it's uh, it's the same thickness as uh, um, is what's already existing so on the uh, door stop so it's real simple so I'm going to show you this yeah. All right, let me zoom in on that. See that? So this is what's going to be cut right here. Half inch deep, you could set your skill saw. And then what I was going to do was come back and fillet it off with this. You could make a couple of passes. Don't go anywhere. I'll show you this right now. Now, this fence has a little guide on it for half inch. It's better just to, better just to measure it, but you want half inch deep. Okay. And that's pretty much it. You might want to go ahead. I can do this.
there. All right, I made a bunch of passes here, okay? in this back <coughs> and then I'll have my opening for the door it's gonna be wonderful man so just so you know it's doable this maneuver is doable okay here I'm talking to you and you guys can't see me okay See, it's doable and then what I'll do is I'll drive some screws in here I'll glue it and I'll have a nice little uh, jam that'll work out I'll follow up I'll show you this I gotta wait for this to dry the glue I'll do the same thing over here okay it's gonna work out wonderful don't go anywhere okay so here's where I'm at I dry fit this okay and uh, I only have one tap it. Well, I have a couple of small ones, so let me pull my tap screws out of here. You can see it really is, the fit's fantastic. It needs to be squared and leveled, okay? But I'm loving it. Kind of like McDonald's. Uh not really. I'm an in and out guy. Okay, uh so here we go. So I only have one tap it and I am going to put it in the hinge side. All right, your hinge side is the most important. The hinge side is the most important on the door. This is what you want to get square and level for starters. All right, so here we go. I'm trying to look around. I just want to get something in this side. I'm going to work it from the top. Now, let's see if this tap will work. A lot of people, they don't like tappets. I don't know why, I love tappets. Boy, I don't have any battery on here, that's a bummer. Okay, well, here's the deal. tap it I believe the bit is too big okay here's the deal with the tappets this bit has got to be smaller than the screw and you can see it's too big oh well I'll get a smaller screw on that that'll be an easy solve uh, and I better solve that right now 
All right, let's try a smaller bit and see what happens. Okay, folks? Should be good. Oh, look at the head rush. All right. <laughs> See what happens here. Okay, you hear it? Now it sank pretty good. Let me show you. Oh boy, folks. Thanks for watching. Subscribing. All right. I have another channel, I think I told you. Anyways, see that? see it's penetrating a little bit oops see right there that's good that's what you want okay and uh tappets are great problem is people don't do it right what's doing it right <coughs> there's only two things you need to be concerned with when you use a tappet okay and what's a tappet these blue guys Remember what I said, the bit's got to be smaller, just a little bit, not too small. And you've got to drill in the depth of the tappet a little bit more. Because if you don't, you'll snap it. And if the bit's too big, it'll just spin, it won't grab. And if it's too small, you're probably going to snap it too. too. So yeah, you go a sixteenth, a sixteenth less, or a thirty second. So if you're Tap it's an eighth. What's an eighth? An eighth is four thirty seconds. So if your bit's three thirty seconds, okay, or a sixteenth, you're in. All right, so you saw that grab. I only have this one too. That's it, okay? I, m I messed myself up, folks. So, all right, so that's that. Okay, now what I want to show you, I don't, I can't even find my square, folks. This is ridiculous. I have like three squares, but this will work because I have a nice clean edge here and a clean edge here. When you hang a door, I should, I got, I should get this out of the way too. Okay. I started throwing it back in there. What you want to do is make sure this is square. You see that? You see the gap there? No bueno, all right? So what you want, see now it's good. So what you're gonna wanna do is push this end up here, all right? So um, I, I actually should drive another screw in there real quick and I will, all right? So bear with me, don't go anywhere. You don't wanna miss this. Okay, folks, so remember, there's three things that you're battling when you hang a door, besides 400 pounds. You want it square. That's very important. Really, that's the most important thing, to be honest with you. It'll get out of square if it's racked. How's it racked? This way, if these aren't plumb, and this way. So, if you were to look at this, I've got this pretty level. All right, I'll show you if I can here. Okay, so hang with me. See, that's pretty darn level. 
And then this way, okay, needs to come out. Okay, I'm pulling on the bottom a little bit and then I'm gonna push it back in. It's not bad, okay, really. Um, if it was inside, I'd clean it up, but I may even leave it like that. All right, that's great on my level. Remember, Stabila levels, the only way to fly, German. Okay, so that's what you're, you're dealing with, all right? You're dealing with your depths and you're dealing with plumb. <clears throat> so what you wanna do is have it about as flush with this as possible. Okay, I am a little bit unflush with it, but I'll case it out in something, who knows, I may even use block. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is drive a longer screw in here. Hopefully this screw will work uh, without snapping off. And uh, I've got a shim at the bottom. I'm trying to keep these legs somewhat equal. 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 That's a good one, huh? Equal. Equal. All right. So, get that in there. And then what you're going to want to do is on this side and square it. Now, the person that did this block, they were a blockhead. Right? And I'm not gonna lie. They really didn't make it pleasant for anybody. Okay, so I am going to prepare another hole here. I kind of want to get it in and out. Flush. Okay. So I know I'm plumb this way. And then I can always move it back around this way. Okay, so I know I'm pretty good now as far as any kind of racking. I don't know about square. You, know, you see that? This side should come up a little bit. side still really nice uh, so I'm square here and I'm here off I'm off a little bit so what I'll do is shim that bottom up just a sliv okay and uh, we'll see how it looks after okay folks here you go I shim the middle, raised up the bottom. Check it out. See that? Pretty darn square. And this is still square here. And that's what you want, folks. Now, we'll get back, see how the door slides, slides in after I whack it. Okay, folks, I've talked fast. My battery is dying. And I did want you to see this. So I measured from the top of the hinge here over to here, less than eighth inch, okay? And that is what less than eighth of an inch is from here to the top, okay? All right, I'm gonna get that for you. And don't forget to score. Score your mark. Okay, you guys, check it out. It really came out nice. I just have it fastened. I don't have it completely fastened off 
or cased out. But look at that. Came out wonderful. So there's that hinge. I'll put one more hinge back on right here. See how it moves a little bit. I got a gap here and it'll be nice. And I could also move this over a little bit. But because it's a slab door press board and you can see it's just hitting here a little bit. But look at that. And I don't even have it fastened all the way. Okay. Let's go take a peek outside, folks. It really came out nice. Once I cock the bottom and shim it, look at that. Look at that. Is that just the tick or what? The kitties, the caddies, meowies. And then what I'll do with this is I'm going to put block, a piece of block over that. I'll rip them down. Okay, I'll show you. What I'm going to do is cut this and use this so it'll look like this and I'll cut it right here and that'll be swell all right so there you have it folks how to put a door in an opening a block opening thank you show me how I just showed you how all right I'm gonna walk in it look at this Remember, it's not fully fastened off. Look at that. Okay, out.